Good day folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. If you're not new here, I welcome you back. So today I'm in Dartmoor National Park in the southwest of England. I've come to visit a couple of friends here, which has been really nice. And I did a little navigation course up on the moors uh, yesterday, which was really cool. But today I'm gonna visit some of the tours that are here, which I knew nothing about until I got here. So what is a tour, you may ask? Well, Dartmoor is made up of 65% uh, granite rock. It was formed like 295 million years ago. Um, and since then there's been a lot of erosion, a lot of ground erosion. And as the ground has kind of eroded, these amazing rock formations have been created. So the rocks have basically stayed where they are, where they were underground, and they've been exposed, so to speak. So some of them are really cool, you know. Uh, there's 160 of them uh, in Dartmoor. So I just did a bit of research yesterday and picked out a, a handful that looked pretty cool. So I thought, why not let you join me on this little journey? So I'm just on the way to the first one, which is called Haytor. So let's go and do this, folks. Well, here we are, folks. The first one, Haytor, which you just saw from the road there. That little beauty. So we'll have a little wander up there now. One thing I've just realised, one thing I've just researched online actually, is that you can't fly drones here. So I'm gutted. You're not allowed to drone, uh, fly drones anywhere in Dartmoor National Park. So um, kind of saves me the job of getting it out of every tour, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I was a bit gutted because I get some really cool footage with a drone of these, you know. So something else that's quite famous here in Dartmoor are the wild horses. And there's a few here greeting us at Haytor. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Oh, one's taking a little dump. There you go. You're on camera. <laughs> so there's people doing climbing here. Great place to practice climbing for a climber. Hello. <laughs> you are? Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> friendly peeps. Wow, look at that view. So in the distance I can immediately see other tours. Sorry if I sound out of breath. Let me see if I can zoom in. So there's another tour and there's one behind it as well, just over here. Wow, here we go folks, nice 360 degree view, Dartmoor. So yeah, many, many years ago them rocks would have been under the ground. So it's eroded that much throughout parts of Dartmoor, throughout the years. All the wild horses down here. That's, and these will be other tours as well. I don't know the names of these, I'd have to go online. But yeah, you can see another tour there. One just behind it here. Pretty cool, eh? Well, one down, nine to go. Let's move on, folks. Let's make tracks to the next one, shall we?
go folks. Hound tour. This one's called Hound Tour. No idea who picks the names for these. But maybe I should have researched that before making this video, eh? Pretty cool, eh? Pretty cool. Just to think that these used to be under the ground. <laughs> Look at the height of them. Really cool formations, really cool. Not quite as high as Haytor. Let's get to the top. Let's go and see what's on the other side here. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to head up here. Let's see if we can get up there. Sorry if I'm out of breath, by the way. Running around like a headless chicken. Highest point. go folks the second one of the day let's head to number three it's called Bowerman's nose looks very different to these ones that we're going to see smaller different structure but anyways without further ado let's just head there I'll stop me waffling well I wasn't expecting that Does he? Hello. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Well, that was a little interesting entry to this next <laughs> this next little tour. The cows are very nice, weren't they? Anyway, I've just managed to find a little parking spot. The path is right here. It's a very small little structure, this one. It's very small compared to the rest of them. It's called Bowerman's Nose. And I think I know the reason of this, the name of this one. It's because it looks like a nose. <laughs> well, kind of. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack on. It's just up here, it's not far. There she is. The little nose. Personally, I'd say it looks like one of them, them figures from East Island. One of them large head structures. It's like the Dartmoor version of one of them. As you can see, all of these ones on the ground. With erosion they're starting to pop through as well so in many thousands of years they'll be kind of standing like that potentially <laughs> anyway again i apologize for my out of breathness i'm just trying to get around these tours as fast as i can hello right wow check that out Surrounded by stunning scenery too. So this was my favourite that I saw online to be honest with you. Just because of the sheer simplicity of it I guess. Just rock, standing on rock on rock. 
I'm gonna look at these two small ones, kind of holding this big one up here. Let's go up here anyway, because there's uh, quite a lot more going on up here as well. Yeah, check these out. And do you know what else I've just remembered? Hang around these parts of the UK, and I should be keeping my eye out for them. Pixies. This is the West Country. This is Pixie Land. So I should be keeping my eye out in all of these little crevices for, for pixies. And I kid you not, I found a guy online, I forget his name, um, and his channel, he goes around hunting pixies, and he's got footage of pixies, clearly edited, but he gets hundreds of thousands of views, man. It's crazy. So maybe I should do a little pixie video while I'm here. Let's keep our eye out. Anyway, I've just got to the top of these, these rocks here have a look down on the old nose, shall we? There she is, the old nose, beautiful eh? And then the further you look back, see, there's even more stones here, let's go over to them, shall we? See what the view is over the edge there, and then we'll move on to number four. <laughs> they are everywhere. Everywhere. You can see in the distance there's a huge tour over there. That lump there. That's a huge tour. I'm not sure if that's one, one of the ones we're going to see. I'm not too sure. I'd have to get the map out. But literally, you can see one right at the back there as well. That there. Like there's a lot around this vicinity, kind of like the east side, and there's a couple right on the west that we need to get over to, which is going to be like a, I don't know, 45 minute drive. So that's why I'm whizzing around these like as fast as I can to try and get them all done. There we go, folks. Bowerman's nose. Pretty cool, eh? So um, this next place that we're going to go to, it's not actually a tour. I've forgotten about this and it's the main reason I wanted my drone to be honest with you but I've just been speaking to a couple up there and they said this thing that I'm gonna go and see um, there's a tour just above it as well so you can get like a view from above anyway so let's see how that looks it's called Grimm's Pound so a long story short it's a quite a large circle formation a stone circle formation and there's all these old ruins of circular huts stone circular huts within the big circle so that's why i wanted the drone so you could see it from above it looks amazing without further ado let's go and uh, check this out Beautiful. 